Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Dalpian Qualifiers Quarterfinals here at Grey Ogre Games. I'm Ooh. Alfian, joined by Just Randall. Hello, I'm Just Randall. Yes, hello, Randall. <laughs> and uh, we have Reef Chia versus Tan Chin Hing. Team of Reclamation against Red Deck Wins. The very thesis of a good matchup. Yeah, really? Of a, I mean, of a, of, a good, of a good game to watch. A ramp deck against a okay. red aggro deck. Wow. All right. And here we have their deck list. So yeah, I think um, Reeves' deck list is, is a pretty... Wait, this is Chu Hing. Oh? This is Chu Hing. Oh, it's Chu Hing. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my bad. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so Reeves' deck is pretty, pretty standard. Um, team of Reclamation. You've got your Growth Spirals. You've got your Storm's Wrath. And I mean the winning, what's it called? The win condition is expansion explosion, right? Or just beating them in the face of Uro Titan. Mm -hmm. Nature's rare. And uh, here Chu, uh, Chin Hing, sorry, Chin Hing has a pretty typical twenty-one lands for uh, seventeen of which are mountains and four of which are castle embers, mm. and a lot of four offs. Fervent Champion, Scorch Spitter, Rimrock Knight, Runaway Steamkin, Annex, Hard in mm -hmm, the Forge. Mm -hmm. Bone Crusher Giant and three Thorbrands. Yep. Thorbrands are really good. Card. Also, Thorbr so he does run Thorbrands. Um, yeah. I was discussing with Brian just now whether or not they still do run Thorbrand. And I think it's good. Yeah, definitely Thorbrand good is very good. This yeah, deck. exactly. So there's, there's two lists. Uh, there's the Sandy Dog and the Eagle list, mm -hmm. which doesn't run Thorbrand. Oh, it doesn't run Thorbrand? Yeah. That's a Sandy okay. Dog and the Eagle list. Because he wants to over overrun the Duet Control. Uh, uh, so it's a very slow card in that deck. It okay. is, yes, correct. Yes, Torrent is pretty slow. Right. But Chin Heng electing to play the bit yes. the slower um format. Actually we don't have time, right? Huh? Sorry. We don't have time, right? Oh sorry, there's no time. Yeah, I yeah. forgot. But These are untimed matches. Match for the, the, the Timor Reclamation, yeah. yes. But here's but here's a good thing. Chin Heng did not have a turn one drop, so Yep. Pretty good. And very this big deck, misstep, actually. this deck has like eight turn one drops. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Cherif gonna grow spiral. Draws actually Brazen Borrow, which is kind of a good card in this matchup. Mm -hmm. um, one good thing about uh, Reeves side oh uh, Reeves main board is that he's got four Storms Wrath. Mm. So that's gonna be a lot of board wipes that uh, Chin has to beat through if they come into play. Right. But I think uh, Chin Heng here, he j what he's in very interested in is he needs to beat and he needs to beat fast. Correct. Because once Reef Chia, he hits that like, he hits that stabilizing point, mm. it's almost impossible for Chin Heng to win unless he top decks like maybe four burn spells in a row. Yep. And I do actually see uh, Gatwick in Reef's hand. So that's that's like step one to refilling right, your hand. Right. Yeah. When I don't, I'm not really a big fan of Chin Heng's start here. Yeah. Uh, the run NX. away Steamkin to Annex. Yeah. This run away Steamkin, you know, normally when we play run away Steamkin, you we want to be like representing maybe like plus uh three three on on the untapped. But here you're only representing a two two because yep. you're only playing one spell. Correct. Uh which we can indicate and Jin Heng does have the fervent champion he said, which indicates to me that he's trying to play for a more slow grindier game. Mm -hmm, what do you mm -hmm. make of this? I'm I don't know why he doesn't play the Fervent Champion. I guess he's he's trying to play around like board wipes. But I think if I were Chin Heng, and I have so many cards in hand especially, yes. I would have definitely played all my threats out. But maybe he wants to play the Annex because he's waiting for that board wipe. Right. And Annex is a kind of a good answer to that, I guess. And you know what? Chin Heng has definitely played, probably played more reps of, of this matchup than us. Yes. So I think I definitely trust his judgment here. Yep. He definitely knows... He definitely he's definitely able to measure when he should go in and when he should trade for his, the board wipes. Yeah. But now he's going now he's really pulling the trigger onto Fervent Champion. Maybe he's maybe he's sure now that Reeve does not have any sort of backup mm. board wipe or mm. removal. Yep, he's switching his gears, he's gonna be a bit more aggressive. But with Gatwick on board, it's gonna be so difficult for Chin Heng to get in. Yes, Gatwick a very beefy boy. Yeah. What's his stats actually? I think he's he's like a Three, 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 three. three. Oh, okay, that's, yeah. That is pretty beefy. Yep, and with Brazen Borrower's uh, ability on the stack, Gatwick is going to be able to tap down one of his attackers and bounce someone to uh, back to Chin Heng's hand. Yeah, that's like that's like Just immobilizing two of your opponent's attacks for yeah, one turn. Slowing him down astronomically. And now with the Gatwick untapped, Fervent Champion can't even get in for a favorable oh, trade. Yeah, you're right. 
and uh, well, he's gonna crack his Tasa's uh, omen to yep. Scry two. And Reef, honestly, very firmly in the driver's seat here. Yeah, I uh, thought we were gonna see Chinling just run over Reef with mm. his like turn one, turn two, turn three play, but but we didn't even see the turn one play. Yeah. Which actually feels really bad because Chin Hing did draw the purple champions all some way, uh, some way, somewhere along the road. Correct. Just that he didn't have it in his opening hand, and he's gonna tap down the purple champion and draw two cards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, playing another playing a chem chemist's inside actually, electing not to play it at instant speed, mm. um, because he wants to use all his mana for that Wilderness reclamation later on. Right. Uh, because he, I mean, he plays the chemist's inside. He can play it again later after the Wilderness reclamation's trigger. <coughs> Yeah, just having the wilderness reclamation, uh, just having the wilderness reclamation on your side of the field, mm. just gives you so much mana to play around with yep. that you can afford to play instance at sorcery speed. Yep. And I think it's going into the Gatwick. He sees he sees that he's in no danger of dying. Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah. That is yeah. I mean, Risky is, play, but no, he he's thinking twice. Thinking about it, maybe not. He, he is dead if Chinning has a Ember, Ember Cleave. Cleave right? yeah. 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 If if Chinning just slaps Ember Cleave. Uh, attacking with the gateway would have just yeah, been pretty dead. And the is good card. <laughs> risky is risky. <laughs> yep. Although <laughs> Reef has another brazen borrow in hand, so he's not in much danger. But you know, might as well not give Chinning any window to kind yeah. of do more damage. Reef, of course, trying to play around the fact that Chinning probably has reach in the form of burn spells. Actually. Yep. And Amber Cleave, actually. Yeah, yeah, Amber Cleave and Shock. He has four Shocks and four Bone Crusher Giants, four oh. Storms. So that's like eight, eight copies of yeah. deal two damage. And he also has four Amber Cleaves in his deck. I'm mm. kind of surprised. Yo, Amber Cleave's a good card, man. Yeah, but four of them, you de you definitely don't want to be stranded with two of them in your hand. And it's, <sighs> it's you know. Bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like having four is a bit much. I would say three, even here two it is. maybe. He's going to try and resolve the Thorbrand and uh, see if he is yeah, able to... Oh. And see if, if he is able to let that stick on the field yep. to do a lot of damage. But here in response, he's going to tap for What is this? I think uh, it's probably going to be the Chemist's Insight. Chemist's Insight, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. He's going to tap down the NX. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. Draws two. Draws another Wilderness Reclamation and... Honestly, I think that's all she wrote. <laughs> yes, I, I think he can still Chia, uh, Chia Reef can still play the Brazen Borrower to tap down something else. Correct. Uh, so and the other the other the other creature will just be blocked by by the by the Gatwick. Gatwick. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I mean he can just he can just bounce the Torbran, tap the Steamkin, block the for right. the night. Oh no, I, I mean I mean play the creature. Oh the yeah. Creature. No, but Brazen Borrower is three mana. Oh, it's okay, yeah. okay. My Only bad. the bounce is two mana. Ah, okay, okay. So he's tapping too. Uh, I think he's gonna play the brazen borrow off his hand. Yep. Bounce the Torbrand. That would be the best. The best EV play, I think. <laughs> yes, I think so too. The best expected value. Because I guess if he if he bounces, Steamkin off of a knight, then Gatwick doesn't trade favorably. Right. But with the Torbrand down, you know. This is a time walk. Yeah, yeah. this is actually a time walk. Yep. And uh, Chin Heng, I now I realize why he kept that hand. He has two copies of light up the stage in his hand right now. And he is unable to Play get the spectacle yeah. Yeah, get the spectacle trigger off. That's really looking, rough. Looking pretty bad yeah. here. See, the the problem with NX against in this matchup is that he doesn't want he doesn't want it to die, right? I mean Reeve doesn't want it to die because you know it's just more value. But if he just taps it down and he just wasted three mana basically. Yeah and here we go. The second copy of our recognition just making Chia like rich in mana right now. Yeah. He's oh got, gosh. you know, embarrassment of riches, as they yeah. say it. Suffering su from success. Yes. <laughs> Suffering, Suffering from, from success. Ah. <laughs> oh, and we we when? see his mana tokens in the form of a Mox Opal. Oh, no, sorry. Mox Jet. Mox. That's a Mox the Sapphire. That's, right? that's, that's a Mox Sapphire. And a Mox I don't Emerald. think those are real. <laughs> Wait, there are judges in this room. Oh, no. Mox Sapphire. <laughs> Mox Emerald. Mox. What's the red one? Mox Ruby. Ruby? Mox Ruby. Ruby, yeah. What's this? And... Oh, Tassa's intervention. He's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> dig. He's gonna look for a lot of cards. Yeah, he's gonna dig through time. This is not dig through time. This is like dig through time plus plus plus. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, this is dig through time. Dig through time plus one. Oh, okay. Okay. Probably gonna take um the Uro. Uh, yeah. Probably gonna take Uro. Probably gonna take a Brazen Borrower. Yeah. Uh, Reef has this one in the bag. 
I don't think there's anything Chinning can draw at this point yeah. to win. Okay. So he, he has chosen his two cards. No idea what they are at the moment. But uh okay, so his second auto transformation is gonna untap his cards and it's just gonna pass the turn. Yeah. Yeah, if, I mean if you're review, you, you're just sitting there. You you're no rush. You can you can draw this out. Yeah, you can definitely draw this out. Especially against a red deck. Yep. And I mean I guess he's just waiting for uh expansion explosion. Yeah, he's waiting for his win con right now. Yeah. The he's only sorry. His uninterrupted win con that like can't be stopped by counter spells because his opponent doesn't have any. Correct. I mean the only thing I'm worried about if I will be if I will reef is like a barrage of shocks. Because Reef doesn't play that many sh counter spells. Right. And declare attacks here before Yeah, anyways, and before before blocker before attack, sorry, taps two. Mm -hmm. What's what's she gonna what's she gonna do? Um, probably the brazen borrower that he took from his ah, that's DIY true. dig through time. Hmm. Wow, three turns, three three brazen borrowers tapping down things, returning things to hand. <sighs> what an efficient card! So good, so yeah. good. And I think you uh. At I mean, does Torbrand does Torbrand say can you can you attack with Torb okay no he can't attack with the former champion anymore yeah <sighs> yeah it's this game is looking very over here yeah for sure that it's gonna start clocking him down with the the brazen borrower since yep. he can't attack any uh, we can't block the brazen borrower anyway yeah yeah Chinning getting time walked effect effectively time walked for three turns and here yep. comes the Uro Uro's gonna tap down the Torbrand. And gain Reef three life. There is there's nothing I, I feel that Ching Heng can do at this point. But he's just gonna stick it out, so okay. Uh, Props to Ching Heng. No, no, she's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Reef looking at some uh, some cantrips in his hand. Has yep. a has another brazen borrower and opt <laughs> and a ghost spiral. Yep. That's oh. the full suite of brazen borrowers. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's gonna scry here. Yeah, he's gonna scry. Oh, there oh, it is. There's the expansion there explosion. Uh, and that's probably gonna be game either this turn or next turn. Yeah, next turn. But I mean, casting the explosion for so for so much is basically game anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Oh, so it, oh he's, he's tapping. Seven. He's tapping. Untapping for the wooden reclamation. Mm. Is he going to do it now? Probably not. Right? Probably not. I think he's just going to cast the growth spiral, cash in. Oh no, he's going to scry again. Uh, see the second card after the explosion. Wow. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's so true. Uh, yeah, just going to pass. Okay. Yeah, no rush, honestly. Mm hmm. Uh, he's got enough mana to cast both those brazen borrowers on the adventure. Wait, wait. Do we say that? But now, this is an open turn. Chia has just one blocker. If Ching Heng swings in and connects with a lot of damage, mm -hmm. and he slams down an uh, Amber Cleave, just in an instant, just yeah. like that, Chia is dead. Reef is dead. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, all things considered, but with those two brazen borrowers on the board, uh, in an adventure, he's going to be able to tap down two creatures. And he's got another brazen borrow in hand. Ah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Yeah, it's still it's still way too difficult for Chining. If Ch Reeve didn't have a brazen borrow in hand, it might be a bit more doable. Oh, and the fourth but no, one. the top run's gonna go back. Chining is just being blown out left, right, center every turn. He must yeah. be thinking, wow. Oh, and the opt. Why? Just to tap down the team. <laughs> Why I could not fall Britain Borrower this oh game. Oh my Why? goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Chining, uh, Reeve doesn't even need to play the Brazen Borrowers. He's just going to play Cantrips. Wow. Um, why did he scroll? Why did he scry? C Castle Ventress. Ah, Castle Ventress. Okay, so I think he just goes to end step and then he... Okay, go end step, show him the explosion. Yeah, and that's going to be it. 
Okay, and yeah, that's all she wrote. Yeah. Chia Reef taking it in a very convincing fashion. Mm-hmm. Chin Hing just not able to sequence that right that right uh, order of cards yep. because he didn't draw it probably. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Chin Hing just, he was on the back foot the whole time. Yeah. The early Gatwick into just Brazen Borrowers every turn. Yeah, the, 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 the Gatwick X0 just gave Reef so much value. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, get rid a really good um, creature in this matchup. Really strong tempo card in yeah. general. All right, so let's take a look at the sideboards. So what can I think from Reef's side, he's got a he's got two Aether Gusts, a Negate, three Chandra's Pyrohelixes, three Scorching Dra- Dragon Fires, two Legion War Bosses, three Disputes, Mystical Disputes, and one Niv Mizzet Parun. So I mean, definitely going to bring in the three mm-hmm. uh, Pyrohelixes. And maybe the Legion War Bosses? Mm-hmm. And I like Ching Hing's plan actually, here. Yeah. Four Lava Coils, four Unchained Berserkers, four Tibalt Rakish Instigators, and three oh, okay. Experimental Frenzies. I think this matchup uh, on the play... Uh, mm, actually, will you play the Experimental Frenzy? Honestly, I wouldn't because I don't think you can go, f- you can go longer than the Team of Reclamation. Oh, but... Yeah. But, Hard that, to say, but Frenzy just gives so much reach, though. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, I th- okay. This is a pro- this mm. is a weird. This is a very strange. Uh, this is a very strange conund- conund- <laughs> conundrum that mm. Cheating has gotten himself into. Right, if he puts in the Frenzy and the T-Bolt, he goes longer. Yep. He has more staying power. Yep. But at the same time, Reef wants to be in the staying power. Mm-hmm. He, he mm-hmm. wants the, the match to go longer. Chin Hing has these hedges against Chin he- against Reef. But Reef wants to be in that position. Yeah. So it's very hard for Chin Heng to sideboard here against Reef. And I think what Chin Heng did right there, he just he just he just kept his original sixty. Just mm. going to go into because this original sixty is the fastest configuration of a red deck wins mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in this current in this uh, given sideboard yep. and main deck. Although to be fair, I feel that Tibalt might be a good thing to sideboard in because. Uro's gonna gain. Oh, you're right. A lot you're right. Life. Yeah, T-Bolt actually might be good because, yeah, uh, yeah the skull crack effect and the mm. and the the fact that if you're if you have if if you have like uh you create something on the field the minion yep. the devil the little devil thing, if it dies it, he just just guaranteed damage. Yeah. But then again, it can still be bounced by Brazen Borrower and <laughs> yeah. Yes, it can still be. Bounced. Yo, Brazen Borrower is just busted, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, it's it's usually like a three or four off in all these kind of decks that. Yeah. You know, once some kind of tempo-ish creature. Yeah. You know, it's usually in these blue-green decks, they don't have a lot of good hard removal. Right. And Brazen Borrow is a very, very good card in that situation because you can bounce the cards and then later on, if you're playing a more control variant, you can counter them. Yeah. And if you're playing a p- tempo variant, then you're just gonna be able to get in Yo, more damage. I'm not gonna lie, man. This the the deck that Reef has submitted today, this looks very tempting for me to play. I really want to play yeah, this deck. Yeah, it looks I like re- a quite a fun deck. This is a fun deck. I mm. really want to play this deck. Yep. I, I, I you know what? I still ha- we still have access to the Grey Ogre Games uh, the arena account, so we can just. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, do they have a lot of things? Yo, Mick has been, Mick has been grinding it out. Man. Oh, nice. He has been man- he has been maintaining the account. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so Chiting. Oh, turn there one we play. go. Turn one that's play. what that's, he wants to that's see. That's the first step to victory, right? Yeah. There. Turn one, Scorch Spitter. Effectively a two one. Yeah, well, exactly. It's a one one that hits for two. Yep. And oh, turn one and turn one, tap land, scry land from from Reef. <laughs> Sign of weakness. Sign of weakness. Blood is in the water. Chiting is like a shark. He smells the blood. He's going in. He's going in with that Scorch Spitter. He's gonna spit some scorches at him. Yeah, man. And yeah, Chiting. He just wants to play a 2-drop now. He just yeah. wants to play a 2-drop into a 3-drop into a 4-drop. You think he might have taken out the Runaway Steamkins? Hard to say. He might have because they're a bit slow. I wouldn't say they're slow, but, you know, I think they're pretty good. Yeah. If you can, like, turn 2 Steamkin and, like, turn 3, play 2 cards, play 2 red spells. I suppose so, but... um. Oh, and he's going to hard cast the Rimrock Knight. Mm, okay, interesting. Wow, okay. I, I saw he had a Fervor Knight. He didn't want to play Fervor Knight and pump something with the Rimrock Knight. Uh, okay. Yeah, actually, that might... No, I I think he might be thinking... I think he might be thinking, right, play the Rimrock Knight, turn two, 
Then turn three, play further knight and something else. Mm. Use the further knight to pump the rimrock knight. Mm. Because further knight can only true, that's true. Yeah, because further knight can only pump knights. Knights, correct. Yeah. Okay. And um, Reeve playing another tap land. Wow. Ooh. This playing is, with fire there. Yeah. This is. I I wouldn't say playing with fire more. <laughs> he's pretty desperate. Okay. Fair enough. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, he does see a uh, uro, so he's probably going to. I mean, he has a uro in hand. He's got a brazen borrower. Right. Um. But yeah, this is this is the exact amount of pressure that you want to see from Chin Heng's deck. Uh, NX Ooh, coming NX down. NX on turn three. Wow, this is the beautiful turn one, two, three, yeah. uh, drop right here. I think the problem with Chin Heng's first game, he didn't have a one drop. That one drop very important. Correct. Adds up so fast because especially because of the Scotch Spitter. The Scotch Spitter is double. Yes. Double the one Correct. drop because it's like does twice the damage of a normal one drop. Yep. And I think here we're definitely gonna see the fervent knight. Oh, oh the Torbrun! Oh, big damage! Big damage! <laughs> you, you can see Reeves stress. Uh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> materialize it. And the annex is a fat annex, right? That's the yeah. fattest annex you've seen. Oh, he breaks it for Wait, he bounces the annex? Oh, wait, no. He that's said, a lot more. That's oh, no, wait. Yo, Reeves. Wait, wait, no. Wait, 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 count it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, because Scotch Spitter now does six damage. Oh yeah, that's a Torbrun. Oh, you're right. And Rimrock Knight is that's ten damage. You know what? I don't Why did he bounce the? Annex? You know, you know what? I think Chia Reef is just like I don't care. I'm probably gonna die anyway. There is no way I'm stabilizing from this. Yeah, and so that's... so what if I stop that two points of damage? Yeah. I'm still at four. I'm gonna get Schwan shorter Correct. next. <laughs> I mean, okay. I think what I what I would if it, if I were Reef, what I would have been thinking was that. I bounce the annex so that if I draw into a Storm's Wrath, I don't die to the satyrs that come out from annex. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's fair. That's fair. So okay, but yeah, I mean that was a that was a pretty good hand from Chin Heng. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was what we call the high roll. Yes, correct. Well, to be fair, Ch Reef had the high roll. Uh, the first the game. The first game, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. This this game is about who high rolls harder. Right. Like who is like. I have flush, but you have like. <laughs> Royal flush. Royal flush. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean Chining, uh now that he's on the now that he's on the draw, might want to think about putting in that Tibor. Oh right, Lucky Strap has a point. He bounced the annex yeah. so that he could rough for a clean board next turn. That's what I said. Oh that's <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Red <Randall. laughs> You Shut even agreed up. to me. <laughs> Shut up, Red <Randall. laughs> You agreed. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I know I'm not being listened to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Um, third game. Uh, very quick game, is actually. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a very quick game. I mean, that's just red deck stuff. Yeah, just red deck. And actually, they're both red decks. <laughs> that's, that's, they're both red decks, but they're not both red. Yeah, red. they're not red <laughs> decks. <laughs> red deck. Actually, Team of Reclamation only uses red for expansion explosion, right? Yeah. Wow, okay. For the burn. And and uh, storm what a burst storm burst lightning uh, storm's wrath storm's yes. wrath right storm's wrath storm burst lightning that was the yes. word I was looking for storm's wrath <laughs> yes storm's wrath uh pretty good in this in this uh standard because it also hits planeswalkers that's the really important thing yeah planeswalkers very strong in this in this in this very uh, meta. strong especially with war the the war of the spark planeswalkers very strong yeah Naset, the fairy. Um, I've seen a bit of Ashok as well. Nissa. Nissa. Oh, oh Nissa. Ooh, Nissa. Yo, Ashok's actually low key, low key broke. Yeah, dude. Twenty cards, exile your graveyard every time. That's a. That's pretty good. That's man. pretty good. I mean, it's over five turns, but still. Your opponent can't search for cards. Not, not irrelevant. Very relevant. Yeah, not irrelevant. Yeah. Not irrelevant. So Scorch Peter gonna swing in for two damage, yep. and here comes the net, the Rim Rock Knight. Mm. It's a replay of turn two. Oh, but Chandra's Pyrohelix oh, gonna come in. Gonna the save bomb. the day for Reef. Oh, the Chandra's Pyrohelix. Who even plays that card? Yeah. Wow, that was such a good meta call from... Yeah. That was such a good meta call from Reef to have that in his sideboard. Yeah, three copies of it in the sideboard. Yeah. Really good card. And another Rimrock Knight. And that's it. Just a Rimrock Knight yeah. for Chin Hing. It's not looking good, folks. Yep. If Reef gets a Williams Reclamation here, he's gonna be able to stabilize real easy. Fable Passage is gonna crack it for a land. Uh, I really four like Fable mana. Passage. Yeah, Fable Passage is good. It's, yeah. I think it's, a, it's a good, it's a well designed card. It's it very well designed. It doesn't promote like stupid gameplay. Yes, correct. Like fetch lands, like you know, it, can you look? Can you imagine fetch mm -hmm. 
Fetch Lens and Delve were printed in the same set. Amazing. That's that's some good props to you, Wizard. Good job, R&D. Good, 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 good job. Good job, Wasi. You improve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, and I'm really happy on that note. Like, I'm really happy they opened Pioneer with we're going to ban all the Fetch Lens. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, good. That's good. And we get to play with like Dick Dick through time. time and Treasure Crew. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? They aren't even that broken. They, yeah, they really aren't. Without 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 the fetch lens to fill the graveyard so much, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they are not even that broken. I know. See, Jace Burns Prodigy, yeah. Jace is not even that good anymore. Yeah. No one even plays Jace in Pioneer. That's well, okay. Some people play Jace in Pioneer. I mean, I've only seen it in like maybe Saltai Delirium, yeah. Blue Green Delirium, that kind of thing. But other than that, I don't see it in most decks. But yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah. uh, back to standard. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chin Heng. Much slower, much slower game for him, and I mean I he did he did go second. Yeah, and yeah. Reef with the Wilderness Reclamation on the board and oh, the Storm's Wrath in rough. hand. Here we go, board wipe. Goodbye. Yep, goodbye to everything. And yeah, Wilderness, Recl- Wilderness Reclamation just gonna untap his lands, allow him to do a lot more with his mana. You know, I think he's gonna scry here. Oh, no, it's Gatwick. Gatwick. Okay. Wait, how do you Get- play Gatwick like that? Oh, that's, that's oh, chemistry inside. inside. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not Gatwick. That's <laughs> no, so I was like, why could he have played Gatwick and th- end turn? And Torbra. Wow, okay. just the raw Torbra on four. The, the tap the four. The raw Torbra on five, sorry. Tap four mountains and play. Oh, that's not Torbra. No, that's, 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 that's Frenzy. Frenzy. Oh, no. The, 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 the lighting looks the same. Come on. But yeah. I'll m- give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> we, we were talking about this earlier, right? Yeah. Does he put in the Experimental Frenzy? Yep. And I think on the on the on the, the draw, draw, on the draw, they do come in. Yeah. Because there is no possible way you're gonna outrace Timo Reclamation, Correct. uh, on the draw without yeah. any, without any like super hyper strong like burn spells, and the spells in standard right now they don't support such gameplay. Yep. So Correct. I think this is a necessary test step to take when you're going on the draw mm-hmm. against Team Reclamation. Yeah, and I think we I saw here in Reeves' hand that he had two more Team Reclamations. But the issue is just that he had not much gas otherwise. Right. So he really needs to find a Gatwick soon. Oh, but he does have another Storm's Wrath. But oh. he needs a Gatwick. He needs that expansion explosion. And he's discarding his Wildness Reclamation. He's discarding the Wildness Reclamation. Whoa. <laughs> now that's a, that's a, like a embarrassment of riches. Yo, this <laughs> like, yeah. I've got too many answers. I'm too good, man. I, I don't need this second one. Yeah. Well, he has the second one in his hand already. That's the third one. Wow, another oh, untapped step. Oh, yeah. Oh, he has three. Oh, he has two on, in the, on yeah, the field. Yeah, two on the field now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the glare. Sorry, guys, about the glare. Uh, we'll talk to the main the main caster to try to fix the glare, but... Yeah. For now, those two cards over there, they are... Wilderness Reclamations. Wilderness Reclamations, yes. Yep. And Annex just hits the field. Uh, and, uh, oh, Fervent Champion. Champion. Here we go. The the Experimental Frenzy into Bot Flood. Yeah. The legend. The legend. Experimental Frenzy doing some work here. Although, I did see a Storm's Wrath in Reeves' hand, so... Oh, no. It's gonna be short-lived. It's okay. Oh, uh, but NX is on the board. NX is on the board, yeah. And NX he can still... He can still peel off more cards on top of his deck right. next turn. Right. And I don't think, even with the wil- two Wilderness Reclamations, that Reeve has enough mana to kill Chin Heng outright. But he can just choose to draw a bunch of cards, which is probably uh, gonna wait. get him back Oh, let me game. count. One, two, three, four. F- one, two... No, he has enough. Yes, enough. Yes, enough. No, he's got six mana, right? Six. Six land. Six plus six times three six is times eighteen. 18. Man. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough. Oh, he's a twenty. Kill. Oh no, 20, yeah. yeah. Oh no, he's not as fourteen. Okay, no, yeah, you're right. He is, that is not enough. He needs yep. more lands. That's actually only fourteen damage because yeah. you got the the base cost of right, right, explosions right. four. Can um, can can Reef do anything to like st- like stall until the next until like he has enough mana? He needs he needs. He needs more cards. Yeah. I mean, Experimental Friend is going to help him out in the card department, but unless he gets unlucky and keeps drawing lands. Yeah. And Uro, here comes Uro. Oh, and that's <sighs> and then we see the life gain going to come into play. And th- those are a lot of cards in the graveyard. Mm-hmm. So Uro mm-hmm. can easily come back, get another, give him another tree life, draw yep. him another card, and play another land, as well as be an annoying oh. blocker. A 6-6 yeah, six, 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 body. Six. How do you beat 6-6 six, six as Red Deck wins? Yeah, exactly. Um, Torbrun actually. <laughs> oh, right, right, yeah. But where's the Torbrun? Yeah, where's the Torbrun? That's the problem. 
And actually, Uro gonna give him another three life, but he's shocked, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so but he's back to eighteen. Uh, and he's gonna play another land off the Uro. Yeah, this Uro just double ramping for the turn, and is this enough? I still think it's not enough, but wait, six. I think it's counting. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. He's got eight lands out now, so that's only sixteen mana. So there's only twelve damage for now. Okay, okay, it's not enough. It's not yeah. enough. But he, I mean, Reef can just fire it off at any time. He feels that it's safe to do so. And he'll be very far ahead. And he's just going to scry here, yep. seize Wilderness Reclamation and Ether Gas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know. I, I'm a bit, I'm still questioning his earlier Wilderness Reclamation uh, discard. discard. Because mm -hmm. if he had played it this turn, he might have just been able to win outright. Hmm, okay, I think, but I think he's, I think he is really valuing the body and like mm. making the safer play over the greedy play. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, he, he has probably played, he has probably been expecting this matchup for a very long time mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. uh, expect, as uh, can see from the way he sideboards. Yeah. So I think that if this is the way he's playing, this is definitely the way to play against mm. Mono Red. Okay. Yeah. Means fair enough. Because next turn, he's going to be able to Storm Zara. Um... Oh, El El whoa, Queef. okay. Okay. That's, that's a, just that's something. It's gonna just come down. But it's it's not it's not especially it's not very good when you like just play it on sorcery speed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can't You can't use this you can't use that yeah. the best part of Embercliff is the surprise factor that they just catch your Pokemon off guard. Yeah. Like just random bah, yeah, just dead instantly. Yeah, it's a really. I I never noticed how much of a non bow it is with experimental frenzy actually. Oh yeah, you're yeah. I think the I think experimental frenzy is a very greedy card. Yeah. When you put frenzy, you want cheap, low costed cards in your deck. Having you want to you want to cut down, you want to cut down all the high costed cards. Mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is why I think I do. Which is why I think the annex and the amber cleave. Which is why this uh, X and Ender Cliff make Special Frenzy not very good, which is why it's probably not in the main board like it used to be. Yep, correct. Last time we used to have like turn one, turn two, uh, one cost, two cost, three cost, three cost, the highest cost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, wow. Yeah, Pirate Helix is going to come down. Attacks with the NX. Um, Chin Heng is not putting down uh, Satyrs, although he should get two Satyrs, right? Because he. Ah, so yeah. just died. Hmm, okay, that's not irrelevant actually. Okay. Nah. I no, yeah. is it is it a miss trigger? It is a miss trigger. Oh. The judges over there are watching, so I don't think uh I I think if there was a problem they would have rectified okay. it. I think that's quite oh. Hopeful I mean, I, I still feel that Chin Heng can't lose this. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's the that's yeah. the third reclamation and that's the handshake. Yep. Reef Chia. Uh yeah, yeah, wow, very strong. Very strong showing from Reef Chia. Yeah. Just dismantling Chin Heng with the explosions here and there. Yeah. Really nothing much Chin Heng could have done at any point in those two games that he lost. Yeah, I think yeah, I really think Brazen Boro was Chin Heng's undoing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Anyway, guys, that was it for the quarterfinals. Do not go away. Uh to, oh, you to find us more. To find more of our action, you can always go on to YouTube, youtube.com slash games. And if you are watching on YouTube, you can come to our Twitch, twitch.tv slash games. Mm -hmm. uh, for myself and Randall, we will be back with the semifinals. So don't go away. See you.